Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, okay, so on this day at lunch, I am having a chicken sandwich with some Laughing Cow cheese and chicken breast. I've got one point of um, the Trader Joe's cheddar puffs and some of my black bean soup with some reduced fat cheese on top. I'm snacking on some carrot chips, and then for dinner, I am making a stir fry with chicken breast and a bunch of veggies. I'm using this Kinder's seasoning on it, and it is just, I'm using it in a nonstick pan, so I don't have to add like a bunch of oil to it. Um, but I did soften the veggies before adding the John Souls Food pre, um, pre cooked chicken breast here. And uh, this is what I'm going to serve to my family tonight. And I'm going to have a little bit in the in a ole wrap. And I'm adding some zucchini. The next morning, I started my day with a banana. We're on a road trip, and we will talk about that in a minute. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, and we are heading out of town because it is our 15-year-old's birthday tomorrow. He's back there. <laughs> and we're going to take him and everybody else to Knott's Berry Farm for a couple of days. Um, well, for one day and the other day, hopefully we get to go to the beach. Um, so, we are gonna be stopping for breakfast in a little bit, and um, I'm using my app, and I was thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to be logging everything in, but I think I'm gonna do the best that I can just so that I have the data now this morning I did a weigh-in because tomorrow I can't do a weigh-in. Um, it's Wednesday, but we're not going to be home, so I did it this morning. And before I <laughs> before I got on the scale, I drank like eight ounces of water, and I forgot I was going to weigh. So after the eight ounces of water, I was down uh, 0.2 <laughs> from last week. So I think there's a little bit more than I'm supposed to be down, but that's okay. I'll take it. Um, it is kind of perplexing because I was down like three last week. So that's the way weight loss goes though. I mean, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're you stagnant, sometimes you're down, right? It's just the way that it is. Um, so it's all par for the course. Um, so, okay, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, the guys went into Jack in the Box to get something and I popped in to the little mini store here to get this turkey and cheese. And so what I'm gonna do is, I brought my own Food for Life bread. So I think I'm gonna just take the stuff out of here and put it in the bread and then count everything after that. All right, for lunch, uh, I ended up having half of this turkey provolone from uh, Jersey Mike's, some of the baked chips in a Diet Pepsi. Hi guys. All right, we are here at Knott's and we're waiting for the kids to do some rides. So I thought I would let you know, this music is probably too loud. If it is, I'm sorry, I'll explain later. But just real quick, I wanted to let you know that I decided that I'm not gonna count today. It doesn't mean I'm gonna go crazy. It means I just don't wanna have to stop and be putting things in my tracker. But of course, I'm gonna be conscious, you know, about what the choices I'm making. But there are some really good things I wanted to try here. And I'll tell you all about it later. There's a point yesterday where I decided I would do this. <laughs> and I have to tell you that in a story time. Hi everybody, it is Friday. It is Labor Day weekend here. And I hope you're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, so we are back from Knott's Berry Farm. We try to take our 15 year old there every year for his birthday, um, if we can. And we've been doing that since he was about two years old. And we love Knott's Berry Farm. Now there are a couple of things that I wanted to try to taste and eat over there um, that we've always loved having. One of those things is we normally will eat a meal at the Knott's um, Chicken Dinner Restaurant. It's really good. Uh, it's just kind of like a home style, you know, um, fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy biscuits, you know, this kind of thing. Um, but they make their chicken very well. And 
I knew I didn't want like a whole plate to myself of the chicken because it comes with like three pieces and I can't eat that many and nobody else can and so we end up wasting it. So I didn't want to do that. Um, now my hubby did get one and he gave me a drumstick that came with his and then I got um, a little pot pie and, um, and, and I shared that one with him as well and it was pretty good. Now what I normally would really love to try when we go to Knott's is they make a cherry rhubarb soup and it's a cold soup. It's really good. Um, this one, this time it was a little, the rhubarb was a little tough and it was a little bitter. So I've had it bitter, but I did eat about half of it and that was pretty good. Another thing that we really, really like when we get there is um, I, I love the boysenberry turnovers. And um, boysenberry is just amazing. I love all things boysenberry. And so hubby and I bought two of those and we, we ate those over the next two days or so. And uh, so that was really good. But uh, there was something, you know, when we first started out on this trip, I thought, I'm going to keep counting my calories. I'm going to keep counting my points, you know. I'm going to be on it, you know, But except for those few things I want to try. And there was a point where <laughs> that kind of flew out the window. And there was, because there was this moment where I'm like, I I, I just don't want to do that. And, um, and it was this moment. <laughs> there's, there's a little stress when you travel sometimes right and sometimes things can just make it more stressful and and, and you know we had a wonderful wonderful time as a family we always use it as it's kind of a team building connecting event for us to go um but but there is this moment okay i i'm, I'm gonna give you too much information about me that you already know most of you know already and that is that I have a lot of bladder issues right they have to do with interstitial cystitis I have this gigantic fibroid that's pushing on my bladder uh, and I have an overactive bladder so use your imagination I am just everywhere we go I know where the bathroom is period always right um, but I have to be real careful when I travel I can only drink so much and in any case Okay, so we left the beach on the first day. We had a great time at the beach. We left, I was fine, but I did drink a big bottle of water before I got into the car. Now, it's kind of with all the lights, I mean, there's like tons of lights on this one street to get back to the hotel. And I kind of like, it takes like probably 30, 40 minutes to get back to the hotel on this one stretch, right? And so, we started going on our trip back to the hotel and I felt this little tinge of, hmm, you might need to go to the bathroom soon. You might need to find one. And when that happens now, I know because of everything going down, going on in there is that I need to find one like within two minutes, no more. I have to do it. And so I felt this tinge coming on. I waited a few and then I told hubby, I said, you know, I'm going to have to find a stop before, you know, we get back. And he said, okay, that's great. And so then it quickly goes from, you know, I need to find a stop to please get out of the middle lane and go to the, <laughs> the side because we're going to need to stop like anywhere, right? <laughs> And then, um, and he said, okay, that's fine, that's fine. And I said, look, there's all these places to eat over to the right, let's just get in here and I'll, I'll just run in. There's a Starbucks, right? Starbucks is clean, they take good care of their restrooms, this is great, let's go there. We pull in there and I'm already thinking, oh, you know, we're driving, he's driving safe, right? So he has to pull over safely, let the other cars go by in the parking lot. And I'm going, ooh, I'm biting my nails. All right, let me out. And so we drive up to Starbucks. I, I fling out of the car. I'll be right back. And then it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. Starbucks is closed, right? And they're like, there's a sign on the door. It says, well, we closed early for this or that, but we, you can go through the drive through <laughs> I don't want to go through the drive-thru. That's fine. So I, I come back to the to the vehicle and I, I let my husband know and I'm like, okay, we need to go somewhere else. I saw Del Taco down this way. Let's go this way. Okay. And again, you know, now he's driving safe, but safe to somebody who needs like a restroom now is like way too slow. And so we get there. I run out of the car. I run into Del Taco. 
First thing I see as I hit the door is these big signs on the restrooms. No restrooms, restrooms out of order. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Then by this time, I'm desperate. I'm sweating, too much time has gone by. And I just can't, you know, I can't get back in the vehicle, drive slow through the parking lot. I mean, it's just gonna be torture. So I look at my husband, I come to the door and I'm like, I saw Denny's down this way. It's like across like a long way in the parking lot. And I'm like, I can't get back in the car. I have to walk. I'm walking to Denny's. <laughs> so he's like, okay, that's fine. Kids are running, what's mom doing? And then I take off, right? Walking through the parking lot, just as I'm this mad woman by this time and I'm biting my nails and I'm just thinking, oh Lord, help me just get through this. How did I get in this position? All right, and so there's a point where my husband made it over to me as I'm walking through the parking lot and he's just like laughing because he's driving literally next to me looking at me, but he's like, she wouldn't get in the car. Why wouldn't she get in the car? We'd be here at the same time. And I just keep walking and then I make it to Denny's, right? And the minute I get through Denny's, by this time, I'm just like, I'm just out of my senses. And I'm like, I've become that person that will say things to people that you normally wouldn't say, right? And so I, I look and I could see the bathroom right away. Um, and as the server's talking to me, she says, oh, table for one. She grabs a menu, right, to seat me. And I see the bathrooms have this sign on them and they have this big like apparatus on them, they're big lock. And it's like a, it looks like Fort Knox, right? Like they're like, they're safes or something. And I'm like, oh, I have to have something special to get into those. And I looked at her very seriously. <laughs> and I said, I will buy something from you right now if you let me use your bathroom this minute. <laughs> And so she saw, I was just so serious. Something was wrong with me. And she turned around, she didn't say anything. And they have this special coin. It's not like a real penny or something, but it's like made especially for those bathrooms, apparently. She turned around, she put that in my hand. And I shot off back there, took care of business. I was great, everything was great. I came back and I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to keep my word here. So I said, what is it that you have that's just like I can get to go, you know, very quickly? Do you have a piece of pie? She's like, no, we don't have any pie, but we have this pizuki. And it's like a big warm cookie. And they put a dollop of ice cream on it and some caramel sauce. It's very rich and I'm sure very calorie laden and very delicious. And um, so I said, okay, fine, I'll take that. It was like six bucks. But I said, I, would, I need it to go, you know, so um, hubby's waiting on me. The kids are waiting for me. I don't want to have to ask for another coin before I leave. So please hurry up. And, uh, and so she, it took a little while, but they came out. And that was the course over the these moments that I had decided I do not want to make this trip any more difficult than it needs to be. I'm not going to count my calories. I'm not going to count my points. I'm going to be conscious. I'm just going to live consciously over the next few days, the next couple days, and I'm going to make choices that some of them will be fun. Some of them will give me heartburn, but I will not eat too much. I will taste some things and then I'll be done with it when it's done, right? And I'll get back on board. And what happened was um, yeah, there was just that moment, you know, that moment where something snapped and I'm like, just focus on you know, surviving here and just doing the best that you can, you know, and that's what I did. Um, I ate until I was satisfied. Now, when I came home, last night was the first night that I had a little heartburn. And I think that was because on the way home, we stopped at a place in uh, Baker, California. It's called the Mad Greek. And, um, that I, I got a chicken pita. I thought that would be the best thing. And it really wasn't, you know, and so I ate probably about a third of my pita and that was about it. But it came with French fries that I could swear were probably like fried twice because they were just so over fried and kind of laden with oil. And I think that's what did me in is these, you know, these 
unhealthy oils that people use to do fries in and fried food can really do a number on me and give me a lot of inflammation and give me heartburn and that's what happened when I came home. So I am glad to be home and hubby told me the same thing. I'm glad to be home. It was fun. I'm glad to be home on my uh, smarter choices and my lighter choices and getting back on board and doing my calorie watch again and my points here and see where this goes. So I kind of thought maybe I should do a bit of a cleanse today. Maybe just do smoothies, maybe just do, you know, fruits and veggies or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do what I normally do. Just do what I know and do what I normally do. And, you know, sometimes I wonder, you know, how much that was helping but then when I go and I eat differently for a couple of days and I eat things that are much richer and I see the way that they affect me I, I did get a bit of a stomach ache I got terrible you know like really painful gas at one point um, and then the heartburn and I thought you know the way that I'm doing that works for me and everybody has to find their own their own place that way it really does work for me because I don't get heartburn because I do feel good because it is powering me. I mean, what I'm doing is working for me. So even if I'm not going to see like really quick weight losses, you know, um, it's fine. I know what I'm doing is the right thing for me. And if I change it up once in a while, I'll, I'll find a place there. But right now this is, this is going to be good. And I'm glad to be back home where I can pick it up again. And, um, so sometimes you just gotta like, you know, if you let loose for one reason or another, you just have to take a mental break. It's okay. Just accept it and then get back to work. Just get back to your regularly scheduled programming that you are comfortable with, that you know you can rely on and you can depend on to feel good and keep you going. So anyway, that was my... <laughs> That was not all. I mean, we had such great fun and it was beautiful. But that was my, you know, food journey this weekend. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that moment with you. Thank you for listening. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.